Today I talked about my experience uh, in uh, Iraq and in the US. Uh, I had the opportunity of uh, living in both Washington DC where the decisions that affect Iraq take place and living in Baghdad where the bombs fall. And I've seen the US foreign policy from both sides. Uh, and I have seen as well the, the misperceptions that Americans have about Iraqis and misperceptions that Iraqis have about uh, Americans as well. So, so I feel like I can bring to the table uh, some of these details, uh, or, uh, some of the details that affect both people, especially uh, uh, that has to do with the war in the last eight years. So today I talked about my experience uh, in Iraq in 2003. Uh, I was there during the invasion uh, and during the first few months of the occupation. And I talked about my very emotional first trip to Iraq, uh, which happened a couple of weeks ago, uh, after eight years of me leaving. And this trip, I went to Iraq as an American, not as an Iraqi. Uh, and I saw my, my city destroyed and uh, my people destroyed. I felt like a stranger in my, in my own uh, hometown. Uh, so I talked about this and I talked about the implications of uh, the social media uh, on the political and social uh, situation in Iraq. Uh, how Iraqis use the internet in general, uh, how it's very limited uh, and uh, the use of uh, social media is very limited. Uh, it's actually more productive uh, uh, in dealing with uh, or uh, uh, communicating with foreigners uh, when Iraqis use social media to deliver their message to the uh, US public or to the British or, or Spanish public more than actually targeting Iraqi audiences uh, because the internet penetration in Iraq is 1% or in, in some studies even less. Uh, so, I, and I talked about what we can do as activists who live in Europe and in the U.S. to help Iraqi activists, uh, which I call the, the very, different, very uh, subtle difference between intervention and solidarity. Uh, I am one of the people who support uh, protecting and respecting the uh, sovereignty of no nation states. And I think before we can have real solidarity with Iraqis, we have to first end the occupation of their land. We have to give them their freedom and their land first, and then we will be uh, able to uh, work uh, together and build bridges and, and have uh, citizen to citizen solidarity at that time.